Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be building an altar space together which is exciting. So happy spring equinox for those in the northern hemisphere and if you're a lucky duck who's getting my most favourite season of all autumn equinox in the southern hemisphere, have a very happy autumn equinox. <laughs> I'm jelly. Uh, so today we're kind of mixing altar spaces. I wanted to create a space for the oak spirit, the tree spirit of oak, for our cycle on Patreon. And you can learn more about that on Celtic Witch Coven. And we're going to be using this space as a jumping off point for meditating and diving deeper into the oem and its meanings beyond the basics. So I'm mixing that in with the spring equinox and we're having a kind of druidic feel. If you saw the spell kit this year it was of stone circles and fairy glens and it was very much in this stone circle druidic vibe the green returning to the world stepping between worlds uh, all of that goodness so that's what we're going to create here today the altar cloth is a lush cloth of all things but i have kept hold of it because i love it it's quite vibrant it's quite dark so it's a little bit maybe there are going to be elements to this which are more on the oak side than they are on the spring equinox side, but I will say, it's your altar space. Do what you want with it. Have fun. It doesn't have to follow a rule book. It doesn't exist. Okay, so the first thing I want, kind of want to do is I decided, for some reason, I want a platform. <laughs> so I borrowed uh, the circular platform off... Don't mind that the altar cloth doesn't quite reach the edge. My Virgo, my Virgo is twitching uh, off one of the other spaces from the earth corner. And I'm just going to put it central. I don't know why, I just fancied having a lifted circular middle. And we just do it in circles, so you know. <laughs> so I'm going to put big, big boy down first. So this <laughs> is a really large quartz piece that came from Dartmoor <laughs> Forest. So while I was out there, I yeah, I carried that home with me <laughs> like a crazy person. I'm just going to put that in the corner. Uh, it normally sits in the earth corner, deeply grounding, deeply protective. It's quartz as well, so it amplifies everything else. And it just... Mm. But do I do want that in the middle? Or do I want that on the outside? It might be in the middle. I might be wrong. Feel into these things with your intuition. Yeah. Okay. So next up, I think we'll start with the... I've got the antlered goddess. You may have seen her on Instagram recently. And then this is new. This is like a, a Kernanos piece. And I just kind of loved him. He, he just was so different. Um, and you don't often see the masculine with like the hole in the, in the stomach, the recess, the cavern, and I really, really liked it. And so I thought, well, why not? And it definitely, he's a bit bigger. <laughs> it's the only problem. <laughs> he's a bit big. And oh, let's move the, there, there, ish. And... I kind of wanted that wild old gods of the forest, that's why I have these two on here. And um, so maybe they're on the outside then, maybe on either side. Yeah. So I kind of am going to place some offering in to their stomachs. <laughs> This sounds so weird. I'm going to feed you. Um, and I've, I've made this little offering up. And you can see it's all kind of seeds, which is typical for spring equinox, planting seeds. It's a very traditional idea. And I pulled some different seeds from what I felt intuitively, even if they didn't necessarily fit into the archetypal spring equinox. So the first one was buckwheat. And this has energies of perseverance and health. 
and for <laughs> for anybody who is you know struggling with their health and a lot of people have been and you know it can help bring back a sense of being alive and that can be in a esoteric way it can be in a physical way it can be a symbolic way like coming back to life as part of the spring and it's it's good to bring finances and financial opportunities in as well and i put some fenugreek seeds in there and fenugreek sm seeds smell amazing i was just like smelling them like mm, smell so good and they are primarily prosperity and wealth bring in a lot of wealth in and that can come in all kinds of forms. It doesn't have to just be money, but you know, we welcome monies as well. <laughs> and then I added some blessed thistle seeds, which are used for protection and spiritual purification. The thistle is obviously tied to Scotland and uh, that, that side of the aisles if you like it's good also for calming anger and getting rid of negative emotions i also added a little woad root because that's something that i'm using uh, to celebrate andraste so that's the celtic goddess that i ascribe to the spring equinox and she's part of the celtic calling course uh, last couple of days that's going to be available for the year if you want to learn more about her on Starry Eight Supplies. So the alternative to this is you could get bird seed, like traditional bird seed, um, and then after you've used it as an offering you can then feed the birds. So I'm going to just place that in offering to the divine masculine, the wild old gods watching over all of the spirits of the druids, which is seekers. Ooh, gosh, sorry. Sorry, reindeer mother. Uh, so I'm place it within uh, the reindeer mother for all of the druid druids, which is wisdom seekers. And may we find a very blessed spring equinox. The thing that I wanted to add to the masculine as well as this garnet, on it tower so again this is not traditional for spring equinox but garnet is one of my power crystals i don't use too many crystals anymore because i worry about how they've been mined but i have a few and crystal of garnet is one because it's so good for bringing about life force right there's a lot of the energy in this space that's going to be about a surge of life force, bringing back a passion for life, bringing back courage and passion and vitality. And so I just felt very strongly about adding that. So we're gonna, so we have. <laughs> the next bit is a little centerpiece. This is one I did earlier. Um, and I thought to myself as I was making this up, this would be so easy to do as like a mini altar thing. If you haven't got, space available or you have to keep your path hush hush right so in this one we have a little green bowl with a wooden egg some moss and then three little labradorite towers you could also use quartz which is super available and, and inexpensive and i just thought that was kind of cool and I just sort of was intuitively, the Labradorite does not want to stand up, but there you go. Nor does the egg, apparently. But it looks like a little nest in a little bit of moss. The moss sort of, you know, creating a theme. <laughs> so the three Labradorite points here are very much indicative of the sacred three within Celtic tradition, land, sea and sky. They can also represent life, death and rebirth. All good things come in threes, right? All bad things come in threes as well. So I really like them. Labradorite is again one of my power crystals. Temple of the Stars is what it's called. And it's really good for flashes of insight, illumination, helping you to be guided down the path. So a lot of this altar space is very much like a walk through the wild old woods. That is the energetic matrix that we're going for. So that's the, the central point. So the egg is very typical of equinox 
spring equinox altar spaces and symbolism and so you know it's really good and because it's wooden <laughs> real eggs are really expensive um, <laughs> right now but also I'm gonna paint it so if you're on Patreon you know that I, I've been trying to paint so we can paint each oem and have a standing stone circle of painted eggs that's that's my idea and I'm kind of loving it right now okay a little bit of wild crafted cedar so we're going to try and really earth energy up at spring equinox altar now and I have pieces of oak ready to go and once again these all have moss on so just in case you couldn't tell I'm a real fan of moss so these oak pieces with moss on them oh, Look, oh, and that one looks like an, an antler as well, so that just fits in beautifully. And once again, we have three pieces. So I'm just going to pop, I should have done the oak first, shouldn't I? I should have just popped that underneath. And we create like an inner circle. Maybe, maybe moving things. Yeah, maybe move that just to the edge there. Yeah, I think so. Right. I'm going to add a little crow feather for Morrigan uh, because even though this is not her altar, she is the main goddess, so we don't ever ignore her, it's a bad idea. Right? <laughs> and then we're going to add some more oak. We've got some oak leaves here. Keep everything in packets these days to make sure the damp doesn't get to them. Okay, do we? Maybe. Maybe like so. Just intuitively feel it into things when you're decorating. It's, there is no right or wrong answer here. There is just how you feel about things. I quite like to have things in patterns because, you know, earth signs. I like the aesthetic to feel beautiful to me. I don't want it to be a mess in my mind so just pop a few more I wonder if we can get them to kind of stand against the stone that would be cool A big daddy crystal which is smoky quartz I think I'm gonna place that right in front that creates two points very much like the two points of the doorways that are found in oak so that's a sneak peek of what's coming for oak uh, it often represents the two doorways bet between two spaces uh, two sides of the journey a beginning and an end you know, this realm and another, etc. I also have my little leather pouch. I felt quite cool to have this. And it may be that I'm putting some of that seed offering in here to create, to create a magical sort of thing going forward, so. I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I've got a bit left, so that's probably gonna go in here and we'll, we'll bless it and charge it and maybe add a crystal or two and that can be part of the spring equinox work. I'm going to pop that down back in and ask now for the time being. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I need art at the back but I don't know if I've got any art that's not attached to the wall. <laughs> well, hmm, she's too big thinking out loud now. Enjoy. <laughs> pine and some pine cones and a little pentacle star and then some mugwort here just to give it a little bit more elevation and lift. There is of course the, <laughs> the skeleton cloth covering the radiator because radiators are ugly AF. Um, but I think 
that kind of does what I want it to do. I don't want to make it over any more complicated, you see, I quite like it. Uh, quite just playing with the... I quite like it as a druidic circle. Yeah. Have a very blessed Equinox, my lovelies. So the energies here that we're connecting into. We connect into the energies of the deep earth to ground us. We connect into the energies of the spring equinox to open us up to future opportunities. By earth, may we be blessed by bounty and manifest into this world that which we have been dreaming of. By sky, may our breath be clear and our voices heard. May we find the ability to purify away any habits that keep us stuck in the past and breathe in fresh air. And by sea, may our emotions come full circle, may we find our destinies in the offing, and may we all be blessed. Many blessings.